In a related development, 18 prospective core members camping in Niger State have tested positive for the COVID-19 virus. The state government had on Wednesday directed compulsory wearing of face masks in all government offices. Also, the state police command has confirmed the kidnap of eight persons in Kwankwashi community in the Suleja axis of the state. Chenemi Bamayi reports. These are uncertain times in Niger State, with residents not only concerned about insecurity in some of its parts, but also about the resurgence of COVID-19. The third wave of the outbreak is gradually setting in as numbers of those infected increase on a daily basis. And Niger is not left out, with 18 prospective core members posted to the state being confirmed positive after they were screened at the entrance of the orientation camp. In obvious response to the reported rise in COVID-19 cases nationwide, Niger State Governor Abubakar Sanibello has directed that nobody should be allowed access to all government offices without wearing face masks from Wednesday the 4th of August. This was relayed to journalists at a press briefing after the suspension of this week's State Executive Council meeting to honor the deceased Senator Nuhu Aliu. The corpus that had been posted to Niger State after the Minister of Health had conducted the routine test that is usually administered on them. About a, 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 a large number of them, about 18 of them, were confirmed to be COVID positive. And as a result, before we dispersed in council,